Good day. My name's Brian Thompson. I'm a theatre, opera and film designer. I was born in Perth in Australia in 1946. I moved to Sydney to study architecture at the University of South Wales where I met Jim Sharman, director, who introduced me to stage design. I gained national recognition as a designer working in collaboration with Sharman on the American tribal rock musical Hair. It opened in the Metro in Sydney in 1969. Hair challenges almost every established social value of the era. It contains nudity, bad language, drugs and free love. And at its centre it opposed the war in Vietnam. I designed for Sharman's productions of Jesus Christ Superstar, which opened at Capital City in Sydney in 1972. He caught the eye of Andrew Lloyd Webber, who invited us to London to design and direct the 1973 West End season. The Australian production ran until 1974, with the introduction of Marcia Hines, the first black woman to play the role of Mary Magdalene. It was during this time in London that myself and Jim met a young actor, Richard O'Brien. Myself and Jarman had been working on a similar project making a terrible B-movie called Shirley Thompson vs. the Aliens in 1972. 1973 saw the birth of the Rocky Horror Show, in my opinion the best musical of its kind ever. It's timeless design, risque costume and audience participation keeps this cult classic at the top of my list. I also design sets for LA, Tokyo, Sydney, Melbourne, New York, London and the Soho shows. I went on to revise the production of the film in 1975. Inspiration from the set came from the Prince Charles Theatre in London which until recently played the film on a regular basis. I got the idea of swapping the usherette from the stage show to using the huge lips for the title song of the film from a painting by Man Ray. We borrowed Richard O'Brien's voice and Pat Quinn's lips who played the gender in the film. It worked well I think, although I never dreamt it would become a logo. Throughout the 80s and 90s, I worked on numerous different productions, including video, opera and film, winning the AFI Best Productions Design for film Rebel in 1985 and Ground Zero in 1989. In 1996, I was awarded a Tony for my designs in Gordon Frost's lavish theatre production of The King and I. In 1998, I designed for Kylie's Intimate and Live Tour, working on a very small budget. The show's motto was, if in doubt, apply more glitter. The show received great acclaim in both Australia and Britain and reiterated Kylie as one of the best showgirls of the time and rocketed her back into the top of the charts around the world. In 2000, I was the production designer for the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games closing ceremony. In 2003, the Rugby World Cup opening and closing ceremony and the 2006 Melbourne Commonwealth Games. In 2005, I received an Order of Australia for services to the arts. Most recently, I've designed for the Handa Opera in Sydney Harbour. My floating stage for La Triviata in 2012 and Carmen in 2013 are simple but highly extravagant designs. With giant chandeliers and fireworks go to show what can be achieved with a budget of 11.4 million dollars. The 15 million cost of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, includes a custom-built omnibus, projections and outlandish costumes. 
I'm sure it will go down a desert storm when it hits Glasgow in the summer. Putting on a production in the US always triples the cost as there are no multitasking jobs. The crew is enormous. My style of simplicity and impact, using perspective, mixing kitsch elements and cliches with striking visuals to create effective designs are what I like about designing. I take much of my inspiration from art and love Magritte's acute sense of the absurd. Thank you for listening.